everyone. Basil Chapman sitting for the vacationing. Tom O'Brien, my pleasure to be here. We've got the Dow up nine at 32,953 on this Monday, the 14th of March at what is it, 307 Eastern Time. What we're looking at is the pattern that I love. Let me just do this real quickly. Some of you are new to my work. I try to identify the lowest low bar. I um, essentially grade each higher peak. I alphabetize them sequentially, peak A, the next one higher is B, the next is C, D. You can go to E, F, and G, but it's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. And within that context, uh, three patterns I'm looking for, straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, or a mix of one and three. In this case, it's red because if it takes out the left side low, that lowercase h, can go much lower and the reverse Y, if it takes out the left side high, it can go much higher. Keep it as simple as possible. Here we go. You've got a peak D, that fourth highest peak on the 5th of January at 36,952 in the Dow daily chart. And what happens? It makes a little H pattern, breaks down, falls all the way to 33,150, has a big spike to the upside to 35,824, has a big failure because it goes to peak C minus, it fails by going below that 33,150 level on the 24th of February at 32,272. Then it has a smaller H and here it's in the process of going from a possible lowercase H to maybe even an M shaped pattern daily. So the daily is in a cell mode, the weekly is in a cell mode. The, the monthly is still in this. Look, there's the starting point at 18,213 on the, on the uh, March of 2020. Runs all the way to that high in January in peak E, and now it's pulling back, but it really hasn't even given a sell signal yet. Looking at the S&P, I'll run these much quicker now. The S&P, the S&P, if I can just do it correctly, there we go. S&P ran all the way to 48.18 on the 4th of January, comes down, makes a lowercase h, then another one, then goes down to 44, 41.14.65 on the 24th of Feb. And wow, it's right here at 41.71, 60 points away. You can do that in the blink of an eye. So this is really an important moment. Sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly, not even a sell signal yet in the monthly. Now we'll do the QQQ just to tell you where we are. The QQQs um, have, in fact, whoa, today's 317.61. It's taken out the left side low. There's the second, this is uh, the third dreaded H pattern, that lowercase h. Very serious sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly, and so close to a sell signal in the monthly. And we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, that is the small caps. Small caps are making that pattern that I was talking about a moment ago, where you, you test the left side low, but then you bounce. And within that bounce, you're in a really a rectangle trading range, and you are uh, at 192.41 down 432, making the lowercase h to lowercase m in the daily, an arch formation in the uh, weekly chart, and really close to a sell signal in the in the monthly chart. Let's go to gold. Look at this. Gold had a spectacular soar, soaring to the to the to the. 2000, I think it's not 72, it was 78. Let me just double check here. I should have typed that in. I don't usually type it in because this is a continuous contract. Yeah, 2078.8. Uh, and here we are at 1954, made a peak E top in the daily, a buy mode, maybe close to a sell signal, but just in the daily. Weekly chart is still in a buy mode. Monthly chart made this almost this double top pattern going to the high that close to the high that was made back in um, August of 2020. You've got uh, silver also with the same kind of pattern pulling back sharply here down 96 cents at 25.20. Not as strong as gold, but this is these two things are the issue. Crude oil pulling back almost $8 to 11156 Spectacular move going to 130.50 in the continuous contract. It seems to me it wants to go towards the 96, 92 area, and that's going to be key. What happens after that? And we've got this is really the story of the day with Wednesday coming up as the Fed speak day. You've got bonds, the TLT, iShares, 20-year Treasury bond ETF, down three points at 131.92. Oh, this is not good. The, that means that rates are going much, much high, have gone a lot higher. TNX.X, here we are. The TNX is breaking out. I've got it as a leg C in the daily, a buy mode in the daily, a buy mode in the weekly, and a buy mode in the monthly. I don't know what's going to stop the rates from going much higher. Yes, they can stall, 
but this is actually quite a big breakout phase. And uh, the one thing I was talking about just a moment ago was the VIX index. The VIX index is at 32.38. Staying above 29 means that there's a lot of selling pressure going on amongst the bigger money, like fund managers, hedge funds, etc. Most importantly, to have a successful rally, to be able to go triple digit up and hold all the way into the, into the close, hold in for two days, three days, you really have to see that volatility index pull back well under 27, and it hasn't done that yet. So within that context, what we're looking at, that's just kind of an overview of what we're looking at. Uh, there's a lot more to go into, and I believe after the break, we're going to have Steve Rhodes. That will be a wonderful uh, – the host will have a guest host there. That will be very nice. Um, look at the IYT, which is the transportation index. The iShares, Dow Jones, transportation average index fund. Makes this double top in the 287 in the 280s back from May of 2021, plummets down to 240, screams up to 281, pulls back, goes back and retests in the 280 area. Look at that, a triple top, and now we're pulling back. It's in a rectangle formation, but that monthly chart says, uh oh, transportation average needs to hold the, the two, I put it in the 232 level on a closing basis because below that. Uh, that monthly chart starts to deteriorate, and that's really important. And if you're looking at the euro, EUR, USD, look at the euro, um, breaks down, it makes this incredible pattern right here. Look at this in a, in a weekly chart. It goes from a low of 1.0364. Um, that's it gets smoothed out, so maybe the price is slightly different, but it goes to the low of. The 27th, the week of the 27th of March 2020, all the way to 1.23s, and now all of a sudden, look where it is. It's coming back down in this beautiful symmetry of the left side arch pattern, and it's coming down and it says, by the uh, week of the, uh, the first or second week of April, there's a chance we might test 1.0664 again. Yeah, and that, that's the kind of pattern we're looking at. Bank of America actually has the same sort of, oops, I missed out there. That was a mistake. Let me get back to the euro and then we'll have a break and we hopefully will come back with Steve Rose. I'm looking really forward to that. Dow's up 38. S&P is down 26. That's a big divergence. Uh, one of the Dow stocks is already putting on the heat, I guess, triple M is, and Walmart. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting here for the one and only Tom O'Brien. 